They're, they're wonderful to deal with and they really want to help each other. They'll kind of go that, that extra mile to give you a helping hand. It's, it's a wonderful outreach group. So as many organizations as you have that you can participate in, it's really terrific to be able to build that sisterhood because there's clearly a sisterhood there. So I would encourage all of you to do that. And then lastly, I'm kind of at the point in my career that we've developed a successful business. I have fantastic uh, people who are working in our company. And I'm very happy to say, I'm a CEO. Our COO is female. Our CMO, our Chief Marketing Officer who joins us February 23rd, is female. The head of our Human Resources Division is female. And my daughter, uh, who I'm glad to say, you know, I, I opened a couple of doors in this business, but she has blown the roof off and <laughs> burst the hinges on those doors. In a business that I first joined that I really wasn't supposed to be seeing backstage very much, Stephanie, as the Executive Vice President, has all the creative writing teams <coughs> reporting to her. Talent Relations reports to her, so all of our individual superstars, male and female, come under her bandwidth. And all of the live event promotions report to her. So she has an unbelievably good job, and I'm, I'm so proud of her. And then um, our son Shane, obviously he's not female, but, uh, but Shane heads a lot of our global and international business development. So, but this core group of females in this very testosterone-driven business, I think is quite a story in itself. So I'm very proud of our organization. I'm proud of the outreach that we can do. We focus now on, through a lot of the outreach that I'm doing, uh, on our initiatives like Get Real, which is respect, education, achievement, and leadership for young people in this country. And our superstars will go into schools and talk about say no to drugs, stay in school, uh, you know, be respectful and good corporate citizens, volunteer in your communities. We have a, uh, a reading program now, in fact it's called the WrestleMania Reading Challenge. And there will be uh, participating schools and libraries, about 1,800 of them, working with the Young Adult Library Association, that will be coming uh, five winners in those districts who will have read 10 books, reported on them, uh, and they've somehow, I don't know what all the qualifications are for each district, but they, five of those will come to WrestleMania with their families, all expenses paid, to be the reading champion. So we're encouraging reluctant readers to read. So it's, it's a responsibility of give back. So once you have been successful in your environment and you have opportunities to network, then look at also your outreach to give back. And I think that's part of some of the most rewarding things that I'm doing now. I've uh, been um, uh, nominated by the governor of Connecticut to serve on the State Board of Education. And I'm really looking forward you know, to that, uh, that tenure. Because I, hopefully I bring a little bit of something different to the Board of Education. I'm not an educator, except that I hope that I am both a teacher and a student every day. So to all of you here, you are all successes. Uh, and I wish you continued success. I'm happy to be in Houston. And uh, boy, if you get up to Connecticut sometime, come by WWE headquarters. I'd, I'd love to uh, take you around and say hello and introduce you to the fine folks that are there. So have a good evening. Thank you for the privilege of addressing you this evening. And I didn't get a chance to, to say hello to some of you here in the room. Thank you.